just to give you some numbers, we see a thousand companies a year and we will partner with five of them. Uh, and so by definition, if we've already partnered with Lunit, uh, hopefully it's well received. Uh, hi, I'm uh, Garhan Kong. I'm the founder and managing partner of HealthQuest Capital. Our firm's goal is to find and discover both innovative companies, but also go on this journey and adventure with them. We don't just invest in specific subsectors of healthcare. We actually believe that innovation happens across the entire ecosystem. And so instead of just a device or a diagnostic or IT, we actually think of connected devices or AI diagnostics. And so the intersection of a lot of these historical subsectors is where a lot of the innovation occurs. Lunit's uh, technology has some pretty unique advantages. One, the company has cross-trained uh, different data sets. So instead of just looking at 10,000 chest x-rays, they looked at 10,000 chest x-rays and 10,000 chest CTs to train the algorithm, which makes a lot of sense. Uh, so we felt it was a differentiated uh, technology approach. The second is that it actually had very good uh, commercial partnerships with very significant multinational companies. So there was already some initial uh, traction there. We felt that the market opportunity was large. So the breadth of the opportunity at Lunit is of course in imaging, but also in digital pathology, and to be fair, also in therapeutic development. Uh, and then lastly was the management team. Uh, and we certainly found Brandon and the team to be very uh, open-minded. Uh, they wanted uh, to hear input and, and benefit from other perspectives. And so we felt that the management team fit was also uh, very good. I would say that it's certainly the future. Uh, in fact, it's probably here now already. We're applying AI in lots of different areas of healthcare, uh, and it's going to take some time. Uh, I think the initial steps will be AI guidance or AI augmentation, but there will still be a human being, a physician or a nurse or a healthcare provider involved. But over time, uh, the AI will get so good uh, and it will be optimized uh, where it's possible it can be fully automated. Uh, and then uh, the ability to process large amounts of information very quickly and make decisions uh, will be uh, a reality. One of the key milestones, of course, for Lunit was getting FDA approval for the chest x-ray product as well as the screening mammography product. Those are both very large market opportunities in the United States, uh, lots of chest x-rays and mammography done. Uh, and I think that one of the key aspects is to get real world data so that people who use the product, physicians, ultimately patients, who benefit from it, uh, you can see the results of the product. That will ultimately convince the payers uh, that it's something that should be adopted and, and supported. One of the things that our team at HealthQuest has quite a bit of experience is, is taking a technology in healthcare and helping it get commercialized, certainly in the United States, but also globally. And that commercial effort involves uh, certainly talking to key opinion leaders, accessing healthcare systems. Uh, you know, a number of myself and my colleagues and our advisors serve on the boards of very large health systems. Uh, and so we have those sorts of relationships. And similarly, to successfully commercialize uh, certainly in the United States, you need to have the relationships with the insurance companies and the payers. Uh, and so we happen to work with a large number of the payers in the United States. Uh, as well. And so as we started talking uh, with Lunit, not just about the investment in the company, but the opportunity to help uh, Lunit uh, commercialize and develop its technology, it made more and more sense for us to work closer. Uh, and certainly the team at Lunit uh, was very receptive to that. We see a thousand companies a year and we will partner with five of them. Uh, and so by definition, if we've already partnered with Lunit, uh, hopefully it's well received.